In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can turn any of your videos into film. And to prove it, I'm gonna be showing you a video of me shaving my face and I turned it from flat, boring ass footage into this filmic, vintage looking Look, video in no, a matter of seconds inside of Premiere Pro. Off. So my name is Torsten Orozco and let's do this. So I just wanna show you what it looks like before. Like this is the clips before I add anything, even like color grade, the grain that we're gonna be adding, this dreamy bloom look that we're gonna be adding. And now here is the after, like look how good this looks, man. This straight up looks like film or a vintage shot that's super colorful, has that nice like bloomy type, so it's not too digital, but it's also extremely clean and looks extremely well. I love the way that this turned out and looked. It's just super vibrant also. And it's super simple on how I did all of this. So the most obvious part first is turning your S-Log footage into Rec. 709 and that's super easy with conversion LUTs. I'll leave the free conversion LUTs I got from Sony directly in the link in the description where you guys can go download that. That It's basically turning it, like I said, from Rec. 709 in, or from S-Log 3 into Rec. 709. So if you just come to import LUT, this should be the LUT or whatever one you download. I use Klein um, 2, so I'm just gonna grab this one. And now this is what the footage looks like on converted from S-Log3 to Rec. 709. And then what we like to do is obviously you need to color grade this. That's really when it's gonna just tie everything together. You can play with the temperature if you want to make it warmer and get that vintage look and then like up the, the saturation. But we don't, and none of us, we got no, we don't got time for that shit to be completely honest. We're creators, we got shit we need to do. So what I do is I come in browser, I grab any of my LUTs, they'll be in the link in the description. You don't have to do these in the link in the description. These are an absolute no brainer if you guys are constantly looking for vibrant LUTs that pop really well in about every single one of the footages. Here's all the LUTs here and you also get vignettes we'll be looking at in a little bit, but I just grabbed the color boost. I like this one, it looks really good on this footage. And then I up it like a fuck ton. Like, just like so. That looks really good. You can see how it like really pops the blues. My hair pops really well. I love how like this blue kind of pops everything. My grayness pops, yellow pops. Everything just pops super fucking well. So these are just a really no brainer. If you guys are not using these, I don't know what the fuck you're using. At least create your own LUTs, man. At the end of the day, you just need some LUTs that work for you. And then the next thing I added is obviously when you're trying to create this filmic look, you need film grain. It, it's kind of in what filmic means is you need a lot of film grain. So you can just search up noise, N-O-I-S, noise, Come over to noise and grain, drag and drop that onto your layer. Make sure to turn off use color noise because if you up this, it's it just looks weird. And in film, usually there's no color noise. So turn that off. And 21 is a lot. I mean, as I play this, like, holy moly, that's way too much. I like to go around 3% to 5%. Let's look at three. It's like noticeable, but not too like crazy, you know? Maybe 5%, let's look at five. I like to be kind of heavy, but also not too heavy where it goes over my face and everything. I think five is pretty much about perfect. And the way I got this bloom effect, super simple and easy, is I searched up a thing called Dehancer. And if you guys don't have Dehancer, I would 100% recommend using this plugin. It's fucking a game changer for me. It's, it's really how I created all of my LUTs because it just does a super good job at popping every single color. And I made a bloom presets for it. So if you come over to the uh, dehancer, you can just come down to bloom and then turn that on. You can see when you mask it, it shows like the bloom and everything. And if you want it stronger, you can put an eight mil and that's a lot stronger as you can see. So this is the before, this is after, before, after. It's really a no brainer, man. I'm not plugged or anything. I don't, I'm not sponsored or anything. Just dude, it's a game changer. It's a little on the more expensive side, but it's totally fucking worth the extra dollars if you are using this 24 seven. Trust me, you will be using this plugin 24 seven. I also added just some quick tweaks to the dehancer to make this all a little better. And then the last thing I added to this footage was a vignette. You can go into the adjustment layer, come into the loom entry and come down to the vignette and then make your own. So like, that's actually pretty dope to be honest. That's a pretty good vignette, not gonna lie. <laughs> Just leave it out like that. You can mess with like the midpoint if you wanna do a mid different midpoint. If you want it more round, you can do more round. 
or not as round you can have it like really far out but just have like the edges it's totally up to you but i always just come over grab one of my vignettes if i don't like that one i go to the next one if i don't like that one i go to the next one if i again if i don't like that one i go to the next one there's 16 vignettes in here plus you get all those luts so it's really just a no-brainer pack to be completely fucking honest with you guys i use this each and every single day cuts all of my time in half same with a bunch of other creators so so if you want to learn more about how to get this film lick look and actually shoot it go click this video right over here it'll teach you exactly how to do that peace